So once you've collected your bee, you're going to gather the net up so that the bee is restricted to one part of the net. And then you're going to take your vial with the lid off, slide it up the net to that area where you've kind of narrowed or bottlenecked the net. You'll slide the bee into the vial and keep that net nice and tight over the top of the vial. Once he's in there, you can take your lid, you can slide it up the net to get to where the top of the vial is. And then you can sometimes keep the net inside the opening and then slide the net out once your lid's on top. Or you can just, if he's cooperating or she's cooperating, you can just slide the lid right over the top and then you've got your bumblebee. Once you've collected it, you can put it in your cooler or put it on ice or uh, so you can prepare to process that bee once you're done with your survey. Once you've collected your bee, another thing that's helpful to do post-processing is to collect a flower that you collected the bee on, and then you can pop the flower into the vial with the bee you collected on that plant, so when you're processing the bee later, you remember what flower it was collected on. If you don't have a cooler when you're out in the field, either you're in a remote location or you just don't have one with you, you can always use your photo chamber. So you can take your photo chamber and you can collect the bee into the chamber instead of a vial. And you can get it up into the open side and then you can take the plunger and you slide the plunger underneath it. And then once you slide that plunger down, your bee is available to photograph.